good morning it is june 29th and today could be um labor day for our family um, and the day we meet our new baby so i don't know for sure yet i am having some symptoms of early labor so i'm still kind of in the beginning stages but feeling well enough that i can talk and um you know, do some putzing around the house. So I was gonna show you guys my home birth setup. All right, so here's a quick little sweep of the master bedroom. Then I'll go through and show you everything that's in here. These are all the sterile items that I ordered through um, my midwifery place. And um, so yeah, lots of sterile type items there for baby and I. So I just have an assortment of postpartum stuff in here, some Depends, some pads, some um, peri, peri cleansing spray and um, this is after ease this is like a tincture it's wrapped up because it smells really bad <laughs> then I also got these um, rescue remedy things to try out as well this can be good for um, helping you recover and um, so I'm going to give those a, a try this go around as well so those are kind of the postpartum things all together then here is just some things they asked for me to have on hand. This will be for the placenta. And then there they're gonna put some of the, um, the sterile items on there to have them laid out for the birth. Then over in this basket, I have just a hodgepodge of things that they wanted me to collect from around my house. So I've got a heating pad, some paper towels, a flashlight, some garbage bags, um, another garbage bag, <laughs> a couple different garbage bags. All right, and then in this bag, I've got an assortment of different linens. I have a bunch of receiving blankets for the baby, um, different little washcloths and things that they can use, and then a, a ton of um, bath towels. And yeah, the whole rest of the bag is full of clean towels. So got all those linens on hand, and they've been washed and dried, and they're ready to be used. So that is everything that's on this folding table. Um, that we set up here in our bedroom. So everything is close by and on hand, but also not in the way. All right, the second thing that we did in here to get ready for home birth was um, we had a really nice wool carpet in here. <laughs> if you've seen my recent cleaning video, then you've seen we have a really pretty carpet that we have in here, but instead we switched them out for these foam tiles that we keep in the kids' playroom. And that way, if there's any birth-related stuff that gets on here, this will be much easier to clean um, versus cleaning a wool area rug. So over here, I just have um, a chair that's always here. I brought this stool in from my son's room to kind of have as an option if I wanna be like rocking. Um, I can lean on this and be on my hands and knees or be on my knees and just do some gentle rocking there. All right, and then on this side of the room, I have the pack and play set up with the, um, the bassinet setting and got my one of my nursing pillows. I have both a boppy and the My Breast Friend, um, but I have this one out for now. I just love this little rainbow print. And um, then this is the boppy, I think it's called the newborn lounger. I just put a, I purchased a separate um, slip cover for it so that it can hopefully stay clean. And then back here, I have um, different postpartum things. So I've got the baby's first outfit, a little blanket for her. And then on the back side, I have my um, kind of like an, a nightgown kind of thing, postpartum nightgown here. So those will be for baby girl and I after the birth. So I'm gonna kind of tuck those back here. So they'll be on hand for when we're ready to get freshened up. Then over here, I've got my exercise ball if I wanna gently bounce on that or use that to rock on. I've already showed you guys my newborn essentials cart, so that's here. And then the last item in this room is of course the bed. So um, right now we have the bed made up so that it has a, a sheet on top that can get dirty during the birth so under the gray sheet, there's a shower curtain. And then under the shower curtain are clean sheets for after the delivery. So I kind of made up a little bed sandwich this morning with my daughter's help. And um, so the bed is all ready in case I want to deliver on the bed. 
then it's all set up and ready to go. So that is everything for the master bedroom. And then I'll show you guys what I have going on here in our bathroom. So over here, I just have some battery powered candles that I'll switch on once I'm in um, more active labor. And then on this side, I have my little iHome and my iPod, and I have a birth playlist on there that I'll be playing for some nice music to listen to. Up here, I have this magnet board that I put up some scripture on. There's the picture of the kiddos, and then I've got different, um, different Bible verses put up here that I can be reading if I happen to be over here on this side of the bathroom. Then I'm gonna pan over here, show you this side. So we have our, um, our separate shower here, and then this is our, our jetted, um, like a garden bathtub <laughs> thing. So one of the things I did with my daughter's help was put up these little um, fairy twinkle lights. And once my labor is more active, I'll probably turn all of these on, and they'll be really pretty. Um, just little fairy twinkle lights. And then I just have some special pictures up here of me with all my other kids that just kind of make me smile that I can look at during labor. So I have different Bible verses mixed with pictures here to kind of look at while I'm in the tub. So um, the last little bit is here. I have a duck, this is a thermometer. So this will help me make sure I'm keeping the water a, a good safe temperature for the baby. And this little contraption, this actually goes over your emergency drain and allows you to fill your tub a little bit higher. So I'm gonna be using that so that I can fill the tub nice and deep and be able to really um, submerge myself in the tub. So that is everything that's in the bathroom. All right, then real quick, I wanna show you guys our, um, our upright freezer. This is something that I also have done to get ready for postpartum. And it's not necessarily something that you can only do if you're having a home birth, <laughs> but it helps because um, having meals ready for your family makes the recovery go a lot more smoothly. So here we have <laughs> a pretty full freezer. And this is where we keep a lot of the items that we buy in bulk. So a lot of um, gluten-free bread and bagels, English muffins, sandwich bread, all that kind of stuff is here. But this shelf in particular is where I have been making things to freeze for our family. So I'll just briefly go through here, um, point out some things. I made some gluten-free, actually these are grain-free cookies from Daniel Walker. Um, I made some pumpkin bread. I've got several um, bags of pancakes in here. Um, this bag here are banana bread and pumpkin bread muffins. Then down here I've got more pancakes. Some are plain and some are chocolate chip. Uh, down here I have homemade waffles. And let's see, over here, more pancakes. <laughs> And this is more uh, banana bread and pumpkin bread. This is some frozen grain-free pizza that I made a bunch of and then just froze some to reheat. This up here on top is some chopped up sauteed um, onions and peppers that I can defrost and make into quick English muffin pizzas. So that's kind of everything here. Up on the top shelf I have two bags of frozen meatballs that are already pre-cooked. And then there in the very back, I have another bag of homemade waffles. So that is on those shelves. Then down here, below the bread, I have a couple Instant Pot meals that I made. This one is a sausage Instant Pot meal. So basically this has some small potatoes in it, some pre-cooked chicken sausage, onion and carrots, all put in the bag here. And then all I have to do is dump it into the Instant Pot and add some chicken broth. All right, and then these two bags are also Instant Pot meals, and this is just for chicken soup. So it has carrots, onion, and some frozen chicken breast, and all I have to do is add broth. 
and throw it in the Instant Pot to cook it and then pull the chicken out and chop it up and serve it. So those are a couple like really easy dump meals that I made for the Instant Pot. Then on the bottom here, I have this big bag of frozen chicken breast that I bought from Costco. And this is perfect, you know, if you wanna do um, barbecue chicken or roasted chicken or any kind of chicken, it's nice to have some um, frozen chicken on hand. And then let's see down here on the bottom, I've got corn dogs. That's a quick and easy thing to throw in the oven. Back here behind these frozen um, Instant Pot meals, I have a bunch of frozen vegetables. So that's great too. I can pop those on the stove top and steam those real quick to serve with corn dogs or um, chicken nuggets and things like that. So that is nice to have on hand as well. I have some frozen turkey burgers in here, which also make for a quick meal. Um, breakfast sausage, because we have breakfast for dinner once a week. And so yeah, those are all the things that I kind of stocked up here in our freezer to get our family ready for um, postpartum. So, so that is everything that we have currently set up for the birth and I'm excited, but just trying to kind of stay calm and let the day unfold as it's going to and not, not feel like I'm being rushed or having to hurry through the labor process. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow today and see what happens and Maybe she'll be born today, or maybe it'll be tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure um, things are happening. So anyways, that is just a little look at our setup for the home birth.